standpoint yeah. because his personality? I think he is, but I don't think his game is. And yes, he did go 11 to 15 from the line tonight, and that helped his team win. But I just think, and there is, and he made a great point about a lot being expected of big guys, about Shaquille O'Neal and Dwight Howard. And yes, Dwight Howard will make gobs of money. Whether or not he'll win a championship remains to be seen. But I just think that when you've gotten away for so long with being the biggest, jump the highest, athletic ability has been the staple of your game. I just think that there is no incentive to work because he's still Dwight Howard. He's still an all-star, and it's an interesting thing when you are that guy, yeah. Michael, and I was never that guy. I was the guy that was getting my shot swatted into the stands <laughs> by that guy. So that made me work harder on my game skill-wise. But it's an interesting dilemma because if he doesn't if he doesn't work at all, he's still going to be great, still be a 12-time all-star, and everything will be great. But I just think for him to get better at the line, get better at his low post game, then he moves into the upper echelon with the LeBrons and the Kobe's. If you think about it, the greats of all time, whether it be Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant, they all added something yep. to their game as the careers evolved, and that's what these young players yep. today, quite frankly, seemingly don't do like the greats of all time. Well, the Clippers fall a little bit short tonight to one of the best teams in the NBA, the Orlando Magic. They get a couple days off before hosting the San Antonio Spurs right here.